How often do we hear people ask billionaires and successful people the secret to their success? Yes, there are secrets to wealth, but these secrets are not necessarily hidden from the majority and given to only a select few. Secret in this context is simply information you don't have and more seriously, information you do not act upon even though you have it. So, simply put, there are things that wealthy people do based on the information at their disposal and in contrast, poor people may have the same information but will not do what the rich do with such information. In other words, unlike the rich, the poor do not take the right actions with the information they receive. This is the difference and basically, the secret of the wealthy 1%. So, in this video, I am going to show you those things that rich people do that make them wealthy and if you will be diligent to do the same things then you will certainly move from the 99% general class to the 1% wealthy class. Never forget this, the universe rewards anyone that plays according to its rules irrespective of color, race or gender. Before this video continues, kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification. Also check the description section below for links to opportunities you can harness to improve your earnings. Now let's continue. While it's important to approach this topic with the understanding that there are no universally hidden secrets that automatically guarantee wealth, there are certain perceptions and behaviors that some wealthy individuals tend to exhibit. Here are 10 perceived secrets that may shed light on the differences between the wealthy and the rest of the population. 1. Leveraging other people's money, OPM. Many wealthy individuals understand the concept of leveraging. They know how to use other people's money, such as loans or investments, to amplify their own resources and generate higher returns. This could involve using borrowed funds for investments, real estate purchases, or business ventures. What does it mean to leverage other people's money to create wealth? Leveraging other people's money to create wealth refers to using borrowed funds or resources from external sources such as investors, lenders, or partners, to invest in opportunities that have the potential to generate higher returns than the cost of borrowing. The concept is based on the idea that you can amplify your own financial resources by tapping into external sources of capital. Here's a simplified example to illustrate the concept. Let's say you want to invest in a real estate property worth $200,000. Instead of using your own $200,000, you decide to leverage other people's money. Your contribution. You contribute a down payment of $40,000, 20% of the property's value, from your own savings. Other people's money. You secure a mortgage loan from a bank or a private lender for the remaining $160,000, 80% of the property's value. Now, you own a $200,000 property with only $40,000 of your own money invested. If the property appreciates in value over time, let's say to $240,000, your equity in the property would increase. Property value, $240,000. Mortgage balance, $160,000, remaining loan amount. Equity, $240,000, property value, $160,000, loan balance, equals $80,000. In this scenario, your wealth has increased by $40,000, the original down payment, to $80,000, even though you only initially invested $40,000 of your own money. The leverage from the borrowed funds magnified your returns. However, it's important to note that leveraging also amplifies risks. If the property's value were to decline, you would still be responsible for repaying the full amount of the loan and the agreed interest, which could result in losses greater than your initial investment. This risk underscores the importance of careful planning, due diligence, and risk management when leveraging other people's money. Leveraging can be applied not only in real estate but also in various investment opportunities, such as starting or expanding a business, investing in stocks, or engaging in other financial endeavors. It's a strategy that, when executed wisely, has the potential to accelerate wealth creation, but it requires a deep understanding of the associated risks and rewards. Two. Emphasis on value creation and focus on high-value activities. The wealthy often focus on creating value for others. Whether through their businesses, products, or services, they prioritize meeting the needs and solving the problems of their target audience, which can lead to financial success over time. The wealthy often prioritize their time and energy on high-value activities that directly contribute to their goals and financial growth. 
They delegate tasks that can be handled by others, allowing them to focus on strategic decisions and wealth-building endeavors. The wealthy prioritizes value creation over just making profit in business. Focusing on value creation over just making profit is a perspective that aligns with a long-term, sustainable business approach. This approach recognizes that profit is a natural outcome of creating value for customers, stakeholders, and society at large. Here are some key principles and strategies for prioritizing value creation. Customer-centric approach. Understand and fulfill the needs, desires, and problems of your target customers. Deliver products or services that genuinely improve their lives, solve their challenges, or enhance their experiences. Innovation. Continuously innovate and adapt to changing market dynamics and customer preferences. Developing new and improved offerings can drive customer loyalty and open new revenue streams. Quality. Emphasize high-quality products and services. A reputation for reliability and excellence can foster customer trust, leading to repeat business and positive word of mouth. Sustainability. Consider the long-term environmental, social, and economic impacts of your business decisions. Implement sustainable practices that benefit the environment and local communities, which can also resonate positively with customers. Employee well-being. Create a positive and inclusive work environment that empowers employees, fosters creativity, and encourages collaboration. Happy and motivated employees are more likely to contribute to value creation. Ethical practices. Operate with integrity and ethical principles. Transparent and ethical business practices build trust among customers, employees, and partners. Social responsibility. Engage in philanthropic efforts and community involvement. Contributing to social causes demonstrates a commitment to making a positive impact beyond profit generation. Long-term perspective. Avoid short-termism and focus on sustainable growth. This might mean foregoing immediate profit in favor of investing in research, development, and strategic initiatives that have the potential for greater value creation in the future. Stakeholder engagement. Consider the interests of all stakeholders, including shareholders, employees, customers, suppliers, and the community. Balancing these interests can lead to a more holistic approach to value creation. Measuring value. Develop metrics and key performance indicators, KPIs that assess both financial and non-financial value creation. This might include customer satisfaction, employee engagement, environmental impact, and social contributions. Adaptability. Be open to feedback and be willing to adapt your business strategies based on changing circumstances and stakeholder input. However, it is important to note that the pursuit of value creation doesn't mean ignoring profit altogether. Rather, it involves understanding that profit is a byproduct of successfully creating value for various stakeholders. By taking a comprehensive approach to value creation, businesses can build stronger relationships with customers, establish a positive reputation, and contribute to the overall well-being of society while still achieving healthy financial outcomes. 3. Tax Optimization and Wealth Preservation Wealthy individuals tend to have a better understanding of tax laws and strategies for minimizing their tax liabilities. Wealthy individuals utilize legal methods such as tax-efficient investments, deductions, and offshore accounts to optimize their financial situation and preserve wealth. Some tips on how to minimize tax liabilities. Minimizing tax liabilities is a legitimate goal for individuals and businesses but it's important to note that tax laws and regulations vary widely by jurisdiction and can change over time. It's advisable to work with a qualified tax professional or accountant who is familiar with the specific tax laws applicable to your situation. That being said, here are some general strategies that individuals and businesses often consider to legally minimize their tax liabilities. For individuals, tax credits and deductions, Take advantage of available tax credits and deductions that you qualify for. These can significantly reduce your taxable income. Common deductions include mortgage interest, medical expenses, charitable contributions, and education-related expenses. Tax-advantaged accounts. Contribute to tax-advantaged accounts such as retirement accounts, e.g., 401k, IRA, health savings accounts, HSAs, and flexible spending accounts, FSAs. Contributions to these accounts may be tax-deductible or grow tax-free. Capital gains and losses. 
strategically manage your capital gains and losses in your investment portfolio. Capital losses can offset capital gains, reducing your overall taxable income. Tax planning. Plan your financial transactions strategically, considering the timing of income and expenses. Timing can impact the tax year in which income is recognized or expenses are deducted. Tax-efficient investments. Consider investments that offer tax advantages, such as tax-free municipal bonds or investments with preferential tax rates on dividends and capital gains. For businesses. Business structure. Choose a tax-efficient business structure, such as an LLC, S-corporation, or C-corporation, depending on your business's size, industry, and future plans. Each structure has different tax implications. Expense deductions. Keep thorough records of business expenses and ensure you take advantage of all eligible deductions. This includes costs related to operations, marketing, travel, equipment, and employee benefits. Section 179 Deduction Depending on the tax laws in your jurisdiction, you might be able to deduct the full cost of certain assets in the year they are acquired, rather than depreciating them over time. Employee Benefits Offer tax-advantaged benefits to your employees, such as health insurance, retirement plans, and dependent care assistance. Research and Development, R&D, Credits If your business is engaged in qualifying research and development activities, you may be eligible for R&D tax credits. Tax Credits for Renewable Energy Depending on your business's industry and location, you may qualify for tax credits related to renewable energy installations or energy-efficient upgrades. International Tax Planning If your business operates internationally, consider strategies to optimize your tax position across different jurisdictions, such as transfer pricing and utilizing tax treaties. Again, while it's important to minimize tax liabilities, it's equally important to ensure compliance with tax laws and regulations. Engaging with a tax professional can help you navigate the complexities of tax planning and make informed decisions that align with your financial goals and the legal requirements of your jurisdiction. 4. Strategic Asset Allocation The wealthy often employ a strategic approach to asset allocation. They diversify their investments across various asset classes, stocks, bonds, real estate, etc., based on their risk tolerance and investment goals which can help manage risk and optimize returns. Strategic asset allocation involves determining the ideal mix of different asset classes within an investment portfolio to achieve specific financial goals while managing risk. Here are some tips to consider when implementing a strategic asset allocation strategy. Define your financial goals and risk tolerance. Clearly articulate your investment objectives and risk tolerance. Are you saving for retirement, a major purchase, or another financial goal? Understanding your time horizon and risk tolerance will help guide your asset allocation decisions. Understand asset classes. Gain a solid understanding of various asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, cash, real estate, and alternative investments. Each asset class carries different risk and return characteristics. Diversification. Diversification involves spreading investments across different asset classes and geographic regions to reduce risk. A well-diversified portfolio can help mitigate the impact of poor performance in any one asset class. Risk-Return Trade-Off Consider your risk tolerance and return expectations. Generally, higher potential returns are associated with higher risk. Find a balance that aligns with your comfort level and financial goals. Strategic versus Tactical Allocation Strategic allocation involves setting a long-term target allocation and periodically rebalancing to maintain that allocation. Tactical allocation involves making short-term adjustments based on market conditions. Understand the benefits and risks of each approach. Rebalancing. Regularly review and rebalance your portfolio to maintain the desired asset allocation. Rebalancing involves selling overperforming assets and buying underperforming assets to restore the original allocation. Asset correlations. Consider how different asset classes tend to move in relation to each other. Understanding correlations can help you design a portfolio that provides better risk management. Long-term perspective. Focus on your long-term investment horizon and avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. Tax efficiency. Be mindful of the tax implications of your investment decisions. 
Tax-efficient asset placement and investment vehicles can help minimize taxes on investment gains. Costs and fees. Keep an eye on investment costs and fees. Lower cost investment options can have a significant impact on your overall returns over time. Stay informed. Stay informed about macroeconomic trends, market conditions, and geopolitical events that could impact on your investments. However, avoid making knee-jerk reactions based solely on short-term news. Periodic review. Conduct periodic reviews of your portfolio to ensure it remains aligned with your goals. As your financial circumstances change, you may need to adjust your asset allocation. Professional advice. Consider seeking guidance from a financial advisor or investment professional. They can provide personalized insights based on your specific financial situation and goals. Behavioral considerations. Be aware of behavioral biases that can impact investment decisions, such as overconfidence, hurting behavior, and loss aversion. Stay disciplined and avoid emotional decision-making. With all the tips given so far, I must also add that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to strategic asset allocation. Your individual financial situation, risk tolerance, and investment goals will influence the optimal asset allocation strategy for you. Regularly review and adjust your portfolio as needed to stay on track toward achieving your financial objectives. Ultimately, consult your financial advisor for more professional advice. 5. Continuous learning and self-improvement. Many wealthy individuals have a strong commitment to ongoing learning. They invest in their personal and professional development, acquiring new skills, knowledge, and insights that can lead to better opportunities and outcomes. This is a major separating factor between the wealthy and the poor. I have continued to emphasize the need for continuous learning and self-improvement on this channel. That is because it can never be overemphasized. In our fast-paced and fast-changing world driven by emerging technology today, you must continue to acquire new knowledge and new skills if you want to be valuable in any field. The amount of wealth you can legitimately create is dependent on the value you can provide, which is invariably dependent on the useful knowledge you possess. 6. Embrace calculated risks. While avoiding reckless behavior, the wealthy tend to be more comfortable with calculated risks. They carefully assess potential risks and rewards before making investment or business decisions allowing them to seize opportunities that others might shy away from. The wealthy always embrace calculated risks while the poor shy away from taking any risk in life. Remember the emphasis is on calculated risk and one of the prerequisites among other factors that can enhance taking calculated risk is access to correct and sufficient information. The wealthy study and are well informed while most poor people are ignorant of information around them because they don't pay attention to diligent study. 7. Mentorship and Guidance Wealthy individuals often seek out mentors and advisors who can provide guidance based on their own experiences. Having access to experienced mentors can help navigate challenges and make informed decisions. How to Leverage Mentorship and Guidance for Wealth Creation Leveraging mentorship and guidance can be incredibly valuable when it comes to wealth creation. A mentor can provide you with insights, knowledge, and practical advice that can help you make informed decisions and avoid common pitfalls. Here are some tips for effectively leveraging mentorship and guidance for wealth creation. Set clear goals. Before seeking a mentor, define your wealth creation goals. Having a clear understanding of what you want to achieve will help you find a mentor whose expertise aligns with your objectives. Identify potential mentors. Look for individuals who have achieved the level of wealth and success you aspire to. They could be successful entrepreneurs, investors, business leaders, or professionals with a strong track record. Build a relationship. Mentorship is about building a genuine and meaningful relationship. Invest time in getting to know your mentor, understanding their experiences, and showing appreciation for their guidance. Value proposition. Clearly articulate what you bring to the table. A mentorship relationship should be mutually beneficial. Share your goals, enthusiasm, and how you believe the mentor's guidance can enhance your journey. Respect their time. Mentors are often busy individuals. Be respectful of their time by preparing well for meetings, asking thoughtful questions, and being concise in your communication. Be open to feedback. Be receptive to constructive criticism and feedback. Mentors may provide insights that challenge your perspectives, which can lead to personal and financial growth.
Learn from their mistakes. One of the benefits of mentorship is learning from your mentor's mistakes and experiences. They can offer insights into what worked and what didn't in their wealth creation journey. Seek different perspectives. Consider having multiple mentors with diverse backgrounds and experiences. This can provide you with a broader range of insights and strategies. Actionable advice. Focus on implementing the advice and strategies shared by your mentor. Applying their guidance to real-world situations is key to turning knowledge into results. Stay humble and grateful. Remember that mentors are investing their time and expertise in you. Express gratitude for their guidance and keep a humble attitude throughout the mentorship relationship. Give back. As you progress in your wealth creation journey, consider paying it forward by mentoring others. Sharing your experiences and insights can be incredibly rewarding. Continued learning. Mentorship is just one aspect of ongoing learning. Continue educating yourself through books, courses, and other resources to complement the knowledge you gain from your mentor. Periodic review. Regularly review your progress and discuss your achievements and challenges with your mentor. This can help you refine your strategies and stay on track toward your wealth creation goals. Remember, mentorship is a two way street. While you benefit from your mentor's guidance, your mentor may also find inspiration and fulfillment in helping you succeed. Approach the relationship with authenticity, respect, and a commitment to personal and financial growth. 8. Mindset and Visualization Many successful individuals believe in the power of positive thinking and visualization. They set clear goals, visualize their success, and maintain a determined mindset that helps them overcome obstacles and stay motivated. Everything begins with the mind. If you believe you can, you can, but if you believe you can't even when you try you will eventually fail and give up. But if you believe you can, even when you fail at some point, you will brace up and try again until you eventually win. This is a major difference between the rich and the poor. The rich think differently, they see obstacles as stepping stones to the next level while the poor see obstacles as stumbling blocks that stop them from achieving their goals. To be successfully wealthy, you must cultivate a positive mindset and outlook on life. You must also keep on visualizing your success. These are eternal principles that govern the universe, and anyone can apply them and achieve the corresponding results. How to Harness the Power of Visualization for Wealth Creation Visualization is a powerful technique that can help you manifest your goals, including wealth creation. By mentally picturing your desired outcomes, you can increase motivation, focus, and confidence leading to a more proactive approach to achieving your financial aspirations. Here's how you can harness the power of visualization for wealth creation. Clarify your goals. Before you start visualizing, clearly define your financial goals. Be specific about the amount of wealth you want to create, the time frame, and the steps you plan to take. The clearer your goals, the more effective your visualization will be. Create a quiet space. Find a quiet and comfortable space where you can relax without distractions. This could be a peaceful corner of your home, a park, or any place where you can close your eyes and focus. Relaxation techniques. Begin with deep breathing or relaxation exercises to calm your mind. This helps you enter a state of relaxation, which is conducive to effective visualization. Visualize with detail. Close your eyes and vividly imagine achieving your financial goals. See yourself in the future, enjoying the benefits of your wealth. Visualize the specific experiences, emotions, and details associated with your success. Engage all senses. Incorporate all your senses into your visualization. Imagine the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and textures of your successful life. This multi-sensory approach makes your visualization more realistic and compelling. Positive emotions. While visualizing, evoke positive emotions such as joy, gratitude, and excitement. Feel the happiness and fulfillment that come with achieving your financial dreams. Consistency. Make visualization a daily practice. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing your success. Consistency helps reinforce your goals in your subconscious mind. Affirmations. Combine positive affirmations with your visualization. Repeat affirmations related to wealth and abundance while you visualize. This reinforces positive beliefs about your ability to create wealth. Belief and confidence. 
As you visualize, cultivate a strong belief that your goals are attainable. Build confidence in your ability to take the necessary actions to create wealth. Overcome challenges. During your visualization sessions, address potential obstacles or challenges that may arise. Picture yourself overcoming these challenges with resilience and determination. Gratitude. Express gratitude for the opportunities and resources you have, as well as for the wealth that is on its way. Gratitude enhances your positive energy and attracts more abundance. Track your progress. Regularly review your progress toward your financial goals. Adjust your visualization as you make progress or encounter new insights. Inspiration Board. Create an inspiration board or vision board that visually represents your financial goals. Include images, quotes, and symbols that remind you of your aspirations. Real Action. Visualization should be accompanied by real-world actions. Use the motivation and focus from your visualization sessions to take concrete steps toward your wealth creation goals. Remember, visualization is a tool to enhance your mindset and motivation. While it can be a powerful catalyst for change, it works best when combined with consistent effort, strategic planning, and a proactive approach to wealth creation. 9. Creating and Leveraging Networks Building strong relationships and networks can open doors to valuable opportunities. The wealthy are skilled at networking, connecting with influential individuals, potential partners, and clients that can contribute to their success. How to create and leverage networks for wealth creation. Creating and leveraging networks for wealth creation can significantly contribute to your success. Building strong relationships and connections can open doors to opportunities, collaborations, and valuable insights. Here's how you can effectively create and leverage networks for wealth creation. Define your objectives. Clearly outline your wealth creation goals and what you hope to achieve through networking. Having a clear purpose will guide your networking efforts and help you connect with the right people. Identify target networks. Determine the types of networks that align with your goals. These could include industry associations, professional groups, social clubs, online communities, alumni networks, and networking events. Attend events and workshops. Attend conferences, seminars, workshops, and industry events relevant to your field. These gatherings provide opportunities to meet like-minded individuals, experts, and potential collaborators. Online networking. Utilize social media platforms, especially LinkedIn to connect with professionals in your industry. Participate in relevant online forums, groups, and discussions to share your expertise and learn from others. Offer value. Approach networking with a mindset of giving before receiving. Offer your skills, insights, or assistance to others in your network. Providing value builds trust and makes you a valuable contact. Be authentic. Authenticity is key to building genuine relationships. Be yourself. Show genuine interest in others, and establish connections based on mutual respect and shared interests. Effective communication. Develop strong communication skills, both in person and online. Clearly articulate your goals, listen actively, and express your ideas with confidence and clarity. Build rapport. Focus on building meaningful relationships rather than simply collecting contacts. Establishing rapport and trust takes time but it leads to more fruitful connections in the long run. Follow up. After networking events or meetings, follow up with your new contacts. Send personalized emails or messages to express your appreciation for the conversation and express your interest in staying connected. Networking etiquette. Respect networking etiquette by being punctual, dressing appropriately, and showing courtesy to others. Remember that networking is a professional endeavor. Maintain relationships. Stay engaged with your network by reaching out periodically. Share updates on your progress, offer assistance, or simply keep the conversation going. Collaboration opportunities. Seek out opportunities for collaboration or joint ventures within your network. Partnerships can lead to new business ventures and wealth creation. Mentorship and coaching. Establish mentor-mentee relationships with individuals who have achieved success in areas you're interested in. Their guidance can be invaluable in your wealth creation journey. Networking diversity. Diversify your network to include individuals from different industries, backgrounds, and experiences. This can bring fresh perspectives and potential opportunities. Give and receive referrals. 
actively refer others in your network to relevant opportunities or clients. This reciprocity can lead to referrals for your own ventures. Continued learning. Stay informed about industry trends, market developments, and new opportunities. This knowledge can enhance your networking conversations and showcase your expertise. Networking is a long-term strategy that requires genuine effort and a willingness to contribute positively to your connections. Building and leveraging networks for wealth creation involves nurturing relationships, providing value, and consistently engaging with your network over time. 10. Long-term vision. Wealthy individuals often have a long-term perspective on their financial journey. They are patient and persistent in their pursuit of goals, understanding that true wealth is built over time and through consistent effort. This is yet another major distinction between the poor and the rich. While the former is more preoccupied with satisfying their immediate needs of food, shelter, clothing and such related needs, the latter think long term. The rich think of creating wealth for generations after them while the poor think of just surviving each day. Taking everything into account, it's important to recognize that the outlined 10 points and all others under them are not secrets, in the traditional sense, but rather strategies and behaviors that wealthy individuals use to their advantage. Achieving financial success is a complex and multifaceted journey that involves a combination of factors, including financial education, discipline, hard work, and opportunity. Additionally, it's crucial to emphasize that financial success and wealth are not the only measures of a fulfilling and meaningful life. True happiness and well-being encompass a wide range of factors, including relationships, health, personal growth, and contributing positively to society. Yet being wealthy greatly impacts on all these other areas of life. Therefore, strive to have all of these and be truly wealthy.